Hello, how are you guys this weekend? We're going to talk about one of the biggest issues, especially in regards to female health and fitness, and that is body fat levels. You have these famous online influencers that look amazing, yet you don't know what they're actually taking or what they're actually doing. And we spoke about this a lot a few months ago in the Lean Beef Patty episode where I basically just said, yeah, she's probably taking some type of performance enhancing drug to achieve an unnatural physique. Now, the level of body fat that this young lady has is unhealthy for a male. Even a male with this level of body fat is unhealthy. It's way too lean. You need more body fat to be, you know, optimal hormonal health and feel good and just and just be healthy. A female with this level of body fat is very, very bad, would probably lose your period, and that ties into caloric restriction. Under no circumstance should you really be restricting calories as a male or a female, and if you want to lose weight, you simply need to increase the food quality, increase the amount of animal protein, and you will achieve your ideal body composition. Yeah, maybe you have to work out if you're in some sort of extreme circumstance where you gained a lot of weight and really let yourself go, but... There's no scenario where, you know, you're doing IFYM if it fits your macros or, you know, just counting your calories. That's not what you're supposed to do. So uh, we're going to see what she does. So this is what I eat in a day to get lean, one week physique update. And look, I don't mind when girls paint their faces on, but, you know, if you're a fitness influencer and you're actually healthy and you're eating well and you're getting some sun, then you shouldn't have to wear makeup. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube. So before we get into the video, I just want to do a quick disclaimer and say that I'm not saying that this is the only way to get lean. I'm not saying this is the best way to get lean. And I'm not saying- Yo, I've been on YouTube for like seven years now. I've never said a disclaimer because I'm actually confident in what I say and, and know what I'm doing. When these people say that, it probably means they got a lot of negative feedback because they're saying stupid stuff, but it's just weird to me. And you should do this to get lean. I'm just showing you what I like to do to get lean and what I enjoy. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, but you have hey guys, millions of viewers excuse and you're making money off of it. Cooking on my so people are obviously listening to you. Break just as I was going to film this or what I eat in a day. So we're going to have to deal with this little one. So my breakfast is the first meal of the day. I like to have this after I've done my morning walk and this usually works out around 7 a.m. I have three whole eggs, two egg whites, some spinach, and mushrooms. Yo, is that why I'm not as popular as I should be? Do I need to like wear outfits like this in my day of eating and just walk in front of the fridge for a few minutes? <laughs> uh, Find that this makes them nice and creamy. And I use... I like to cook the eggs in a little bit of butter because I find that Okay, this, this is reasonable. Nice eggs and butter and can't complain. And I use a little bit of coconut oil to cook my spinach and mushrooms in. I like to cook my spinach scrambled for breakfast. eggs slowly yeah. because I find that that keeps it soft too and much doesn't dry it out. As you can see, I'm using a lot of spinach. The meal was good until she added the spinach. I mean, obviously, you know, you can go higher quality on the butter and the eggs, but it's still good. It's because we all know what happens to spinach. After yeah, it turns into it. kidney stones. There's like hardly anything left. <laughs> That's what happens and then to spinach. after about 10 to 15 minutes, it's ready. Add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Why do I sound like I'm singing a song? <laughs> and I'll have a glass of water with some lemons in it. Simple. Hey, look, look. Out of all the day of eatings that we've seen, you know, this is one of the best breakfasts that that you know she has some animal nutrition the b vitamins the cholesterol and the eggs very available amino acids and that type of protein mushrooms can't really complain about spinach i guess it's relatively small amount but you know when you're not going organic on the vegetables it can be an issue she used bottled water there you know but so yummy. we're a step up from the top Now, what I will say about eggs is a lot of people are looking at the color of the eggs as an indicator of nutrition, but the issue with that is a lot of these farmers caught on, all of these farmers, they caught on to that and they started adding like petals of certain flowers and synthetic chemicals and things to the feed like cayenne pepper to make the egg yolks darker. So you have a darker egg yolk, but it's not necessarily higher in nutrition. So 
it's really important to know that the source you're getting the eggs from is trusted and, and not to use the color as an indicator anymore. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the color will be different depending on what the chicken's eating, but it's it's more about the richness of the yolk and how it tastes and how hard the eggshells are as a measure of the mineral density in the chicken's diet. And then at some point in the morning, I'll have my coffee. I have it with lactose-free milk and I usually have decaf capsules, but sometimes if I need that little bit of energy, guys, I'm going to go for the caffeine ones, all right? So now onto the bulk of my meals that I have during the day. I so if you're drinking coffee, like if it's organic, if it's cold press, if you're doing it in a quality way, that's not that big of a deal. But uh, if she's using lactate or lactose-free milk, that indicates that, you know, obviously she has some sort of dairy intolerance. Otherwise, she would be using regular milk. So we can say that there might be some degree of liver damage from the diet and the supplements and everything she's taken because uh, one of the first things that happens when your digestive system is messed up, when, you know, your liver goes, then the gut bacteria also goes. And that means you're not able to digest the lactose. So it's a pretty good indicator. Dairy intolerance is first, then eggs. And I do eat three meals exactly the same during the day. This is just because I really enjoy what I eat. It's tasty and it just works, you know? So these are cod and pollock frozen fillets. And I'll have around 300 grams of this. And I'll have... And that's like the only safe fish, to be honest. Like one of the only fish that I eat is, is cod and, and pollock. And although it's not the best and there's still issues with it, it's probably the safest that with jasmine rice because i found that this is most easily digested and it doesn't tend it's not bad it's a good meal it's quite easy organic on rice is better system. but this wasn't on training day so i had 100 grams could be an issue depending on the pollutants on a training day so i cook it in 25 grams of coconut oil and season it in my favorite seasoning guys and that is cajun 107 grams of rice it is i'm really not going to stand there picking out grains of rice to make it 100 grams <laughs> Once the oil is heated in the pan, I'll add my fish in frozen because, yep, I do cook it from frozen. It does take a little bit of time to get soft, but I just find that it's quicker to just get it straight out of the freezer. And That's cook a lot it from of fish. Frozen. And then once it softens up, I'll add Too much my protein. Cajun seasoning and a little bit more. Okay, so then I wasn't going to comment on the Cajun seasoning, uh, but with the amount she's adding, that's that's a super super bad idea all of these spices and herbs and flavorings are very very pungent and they can impair digestion and be high in anti-nutrients so it's one thing if you do a little bit of a sprinkle but dousing your protein in that much spice and seasoning is you know why would you keep your diet so clean and healthy only to add that to it to stress your liver I'll just break it up into little bits because I just find that it's easier to eat this way. And then after everything's cooked, I'll add the fish and the rice into a Tupperware box. And then I'll just put it on the side and let it cool down. And I'll split this whole Tupperware box into three meals during the day, either side. Okay, so it's same day meal prep. That's not that bad. Okay, so this is me eating meal two. I don't know if you actually wanted to see me eating it, but I thought I'd put it in anyway. And then this is me eating meal three. And then at some point during the day, I'll have my protein shake. So obviously, if this was a training day, I would have this straight off. I mean, at least we know this girl is genuine. Uh, I think with the majority of all these other day of eatings, it seems like they're just faking it and that they just go out to eat all the time because when they get in their kitchen, they don't know what they're doing, but... Yeah, you know, she's meal prepping. She's doing the same thing. It's It seems very, very realistic for her. Although this vegan protein is probably a nonsense sponsorship. To training. So I'm using the Strong Vegan Protein, which is our own brand. I will link below if you would like to brand. purchase. Obviously, I'm not a vegan, but I just find that the vegan protein works really well with me. It doesn't seem to Why? Does me. your boyfriend just... have a fart fetish or something? You need the extra, like, soy protein to, uh, to toot really like the taste and then we have a real quick pit stop for some henneth the kenneth cuddle hey and not to trash on people with fetishes you do you i honestly wish i was into everything because why wouldn't you want to be why wouldn't you want to be attracted to everything you know because then you can have more fun right okay so this is meal four I don't have any specific times that I eat. I just literally eat when I'm It's like a nice neighborhood. Okay, so now onto the last meal of the day. So this is my salmon. I have 150 grams of this and I cook it with some broccoli. And this is a good source of fats and... That's my pet peeve. Like, who cuts protein with scissors, bro? Like, I would rather get out a cutting board, use a knife, make one reasonable slice, then take a pair of scissors and start cutting up chicken or salmon. It's just... 
protein. And then what and you got to clean the scissors? Is add a little bit of garlic powder. Instead of wiping off the salmon, knife? Just to give it a little bit more taste. This is the way I like to cook my salmon in a frying pan because I find that when you kind of like mash it up into little Did pieces, you say if it was wild or not? Really nice crispy texture on it. Also, let's look at the salmon, see if we could tell. Ah, uh, looks farm raised. You know, the, the, the wild salmon is obviously much darker. Um, like, like way, 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 way darker, like almost purple. The salmon is quite oily. It can cook by itself. This is, this is a pretty good diet. There's definitely concerns with the amount of seafood she's eating about the pollutants. I wouldn't have cod three times a day with salmon. <laughs> definitely not. A little diet Pepsi just kind of just ruined the whole day of eating. They have a really nice place. Too bad it's from selling and stinky vegan snack, protein. I have a banana and tonight I'm having it with some watermelon. So sometimes I'll eat my banana during the day. Sometimes I'll eat it in the evening. Sometimes... This is like kind of, this is kind of dumb. Having a giant bowl of fruit before bed is like a recipe for candida and dysbiosis. So obviously she's in a position where she's very, very healthy and able to do kind of weird things without having too much of an impact on her health. But if someone's actually in like a poor state of health and needs to die and needs to get healthier, having all that fructose and sugar for bed is just, you know, having a small bit of fruit with a meal is fine, but this is. I will have it in a smoothie. It just really depends when I want to eat my banana. And I'll Smoothie's have that even worse, with another the stomach. vegan protein shake to make sure I'm hitting my protein intake. So yeah, that's what I eat in a day, every day to get lean. So next I'm going to show you my one week's progression with a physique update. So I just thought I'd quickly add on my one week's progress on the end of this video. So I've lost one week? six pounds in total, which obviously does sound One like week? A lot, you don't... But most of that will be water weight. I think the shortest metric of measurement that anyone should be using for a physique is like a month. I know that bodybuilders do it sometimes, but that's when they're taking like all these ridiculous drugs and the, and the body physique changes happen very quickly because of the foods that I've been eating for the last five weeks when I was traveling in December. A lot of salty foods, so my body just ended up holding on to a lot of weight. So as you can see between the different videos, you can see that my face is a lot less puffy and my app like- This my... is not a, a one week diet progress update. This is you going from stuffing yourself eating crappy foods and then the inflammation going down. And even then, you know, the difference is, you know, that looks like you you could just wake up one day and look like different from the night before. So this is a, this is a little silly. I'm surprised she didn't do something more exaggerated, you know, like like get really, really stuffed and fat and then take a morning picture. But uh, I mean, look, she, she looks kind of the same. So uh, we're not going to talk about the physique thing. I think you guys get an idea. Overall, the diet, it, as much as it's not bad. I think the amount of carbohydrates and caloric energy on, on that carbohydrate and fat end is pretty, pretty low. Uh, definitely lacking fiber to detox the liver. Uh, definitely want to see more uh, be beans and stuff in there and, and more of a variety of grains and maybe some whole grains too. Uh, protein source should really be some sort of beef or lamb. You know, having cod, I guess, once a day max might be okay and passable. And she just needs to go organic with everything. But honestly, this is a very, very healthy diet, especially compared to what most people are eating because she's getting a lot of animal protein. She's getting a lot of omega-3s. You know, she has pretty good clean sources of carbohydrates here and there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting that with just a few slight adjustments, she can go from something that might be harming her body to one of the best diets possible. So hopefully you guys have learned a bit from this video. Uh, my advice to anyone out there, especially ladies, is, you know, if you're worried about your weight, your body composition, and you keep looking at the scale every day, you just have a lot of like conventional wisdom and modern dogma ingrained in your head. And you just have to try eating whatever amount of healthy foods that you want, high quality, organic, maybe remove eggs and dairy for a little bit. And if you do that for two or three months, you will be amazed at the results and the improvement in body composition. You don't necessarily have to lose physical weight on the scale. You don't have to look in the mirror every day, but over the time, over the course of several months, you know, you will eventually achieve your physique goals or your body composition goals. And, uh, you know, the, the radiation Wi-Fi EMF reduction is also a pretty important factor for that. But uh, we have so many videos discussing that. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell.
and uh, check out frank-stefano.com if you guys would like to support me further. I uh, got a lot of interesting stuff going on every week as usual, guys. Uh, we did a new recipe on the chocolate chip cookie bars. Uh, so definitely check that out, frankiestrangefoods.com. And we're going to do a few other new things this week as well. So be sure to check every day, guys. I'll see you soon. Music